What's going on, guys? We are live. This is this is crazy. This is our first one, so I'm sure I'll mess up along the way. But uh, thank you guys for jumping in. Uh, we're going to do kind of our first live session here, so might be short and sweet. Uh, might go on for quite some time. So hopefully you guys can uh, jump in. Uh, throw any question my way. Honestly, anything you guys want answered, I'm happy to answer for you guys. Uh, have some Awesome updates for everybody in terms of where the channel's going, uh, some of the changes that might be coming, and uh, just hopefully you guys can uh, enjoy. Uh, so yeah, we'll give everybody a second kind of to jump in. Uh, and like I said, this this might be a quick one, <laughs> my first uh, live stream. So excited to see how this goes, but uh, we'll stay on as long as you guys want. If you guys have a lot of questions, we'll keep it rolling, we'll keep it flowing. So looks like we have a couple people jumping in here. Uh, feel free and throw any questions my way. We'll go as long as you guys want. So here at uh, Gone in 60 headquarters in the basement of my office, uh, if you guys haven't can tell, I big golf fan back behind me. So I love golf. But uh, yeah, welcome, welcome to live stream, guys. Uh, and uh, we'll jump into it here in just a little bit. Let's go ahead and put a little welcome message here. Welcome to our first live stream. Perfect. Looks like I have one other person in here, two people in here with me. So. For you two out there that are watching me, throw a question into the chat. Uh, let's go over it. I uh, want to give you guys a chance to ask some questions before I kind of jump into some of the things that I want to cover. Uh, but yeah, go ahead, guys. Throw throw a chat in there. Throw a comment in there. Any questions you guys have, I'd be happy to answer uh, them for you. Uh, and uh, we'll we'll be getting kicked off with this. So oh, got now we're up to four. So woo, we're climbing, baby. We're climbing. Thanks for jumping in, guys. Uh, send a question my way. Anything you guys want me to answer, uh, we'll go over them. So yeah, send send any questions my way. I uh, want to make this fun, want to make this interactive. And honestly, this is this is my first time. So uh, we're going to learn. We're going to learn together. This should, should be a good time. So I'll stay on as long as you guys want me to. And if no one's watching, I'll, I'll quickly jump on, quickly jump off. How's everybody's Sunday going? We having a good day for all three of you watching the channel right now? <clears throat> Got a few more people jumping in. Welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome. Throw me a comment. Throw me a question in the live chat. Be happy to answer them for you. Can you guys hear me okay? If you can hear me okay, let me know. Perfect. Thanks, guys, for jumping in. We're having people pile in now. It's getting bigger. So thank you guys for jumping into the channel. Uh, if you guys can hear me all right, go ahead and uh, leave me a comment just so I know that you guys can hear me. Uh, excited to, to do our first live stream today. Have some awesome updates in terms of what we have planned, what we have going on. Um, I'd love to get your guys' ideas on some things that I'm considering for the channel. Uh, so make sure and stick around. But uh, yeah, drop me a comment, say hi, let me know you guys are here. Uh, would love to see uh, some engagement on this. And like I said, this this might be a really short live stream, might be a long one. Uh, I'll go as long as you guys like. So thank you guys for jumping in. I wish it would allow me to see, and maybe it does, maybe it lets me see who who is actually watching. But we do have some folks in here, so thanks, guys, for jumping in. Cool. So, you know, guys, I'll just go ahead and jump in uh, and just share with you guys some updates of 
what I have for the channel or some things that I'm kind of thinking through. Uh, as we kind of go along, feel free and leave me a comment, but I'm going to jump into some things that uh, I'm excited to share with you guys in terms of where the channel's going and uh, what we have going on. But uh, just want to let you guys know that here, probably in the next week to maybe two weeks at most, uh, I have our online merch store set up. And I'm really excited. I'm not quite big enough yet on YouTube to actually have it embedded into my channel. Uh, you need several thousand subscribers for that. And we're, we're, we're getting close to a couple thousand, but not quite there yet. But I do have a Teespring store open and I have some kind of fun saying, some fun branding with the Gone in 60 logo. Obviously you guys probably saw me roll out that logo. But uh, I wanna share with you guys three of the the kind of shirt designs, kind of comments that uh, uh, I'm considering on there. So obviously, uh, you know, my background's in marketing. I love marketing. I'm not going to do something that you're going to look like a NASCAR driver if you decide to purchase any of my apparel. But uh, just be a really small logo, just kind of up here. Um, and I have three sayings, three different shirts. So one of them is I don't race robots. And that's homage to one of the videos that I did about a Tesla owner wanting to race me. And I've shared a lot of my thoughts and opinions on electric vehicles. I'm not on that bandwagon yet. So we have one that says I don't race robots. Uh, and it's kind of been a cool kind of robot type text, which I think is pretty sweet. Um, and uh, the other one that uh, I want to talk about is uh, I row gears. So as you guys know, I'm a huge fan of manual transmissions. Uh, you know, the cars that I've owned have been manual. My scat pack that you guys see on the channel uh, is, you know, available in a manual and, uh, you know, I, I love manual transmission. So I row gears and it's got a little shift knob and kind of the gear pattern. So it's pretty sweet. Uh, and then the last one that I just came up with, uh, is I need a monthly tire subscription. Uh, so, uh, on the back and these, and these things are all on the back of the shirt, but, uh, it's pretty cool. Kind of have some tires on there, but those are some fun ones that I want to do. And also I just have some that just barely, you know, have my logo really small and then nothing on them. So, uh, if you guys have any t-shirt ideas or designs, let me know. Uh, if one of those things you guys like better more than the other, please let me know. Uh, I'll, I'll be happy to change them. If you guys have some better ones for me, man, I am, I am all ears. If you guys send me a design or a saying that I really like and I end up using on a t-shirt, I'd be happy to buy you that shirt and send it your way. So make sure and, and leave me uh, some comments below. Uh, in terms of what you guys think. Um, and just so you guys know, as you guys buy these shirts from these YouTubers out there, all of the YouTubers can set their price on what they want to sell the shirts for. Obviously, we have them at cost, um, and then they can mark them up. I just want you guys to know with any of my apparel uh, that it won't be marked up. We'll keep it very minimal. Um, I might make 20 to 40 cents a shirt. So I want to make them as cheap as we possibly can and make it easy for you guys to uh, want to wear them and buy them. I've actually bought two of them. Um, one of them is a little bit more form fitting, which I don't know if I'm going to keep on there or not, but, uh, the, the quality does seem good. I have selected the shirts that, um, are quite a bit more, um, quite a bit more, uh, comfortable, um, and premium. I'm not doing kind of the cheap, cheapo ones that, uh, you want to wash your car with. These are ones that are a lot more comfortable. So, um, so yeah, uh, super excited, uh, to, to have that online store, uh, I'll be leaving a link in my my Instagram. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, it's at gone in underscore 60. Uh, I'll be having a link in the profile there. I'll also be now including a link in my uh, YouTube videos that we released to have that in there. So excited for the store uh, to be able to buy my own brand or, or create kind of the own brand just to wear it is, is pretty sweet. It's kind of a huge dream slash goal of mine. So uh, really excited. Uh, to be able to do that. Um, and uh, yeah, just just super stoked. So uh, keep an eye out for that. If you guys have a saying that's better than any of those, send them my way. Uh, send them my way. If I ended up using them and you see them on the store, I'll, I, a shirt's on me. I'll buy it for you guys. So uh, anyways, we had one a question roll in from Scott Sadler. Is the 2021 Challenger X SXT all-wheel drive V6 available in gray or silver to your knowledge? Honestly, Scott, I would have to look that up. Um, I'm not sure. I haven't really looked a whole lot at the 2021 lineup, um, but you know, to the best of my knowledge, they the all-wheel drive, from what I remember, was just in the GT uh, versions. I didn't know that they had it in the SXT, so I just have to research it and see. So um, you know, I'm I'm all about uh, you know, if I know an answer, I'll give it to you. If I don't, 
I, I, I won't. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'd be happy to look that up though, Scott. Um, and feel free to message me on Instagram. We can get a little chat going. I'm happy to look it up. But uh, uh, thank you for the question, my friend. Keep them coming. Keep them pouring in, guys. So uh, thank you for the participation. But uh, yeah, so super excited kind of about the swag, about the t-shirts, everything else that we have going on. Uh, really appreciate all the support. I've released three videos this last week uh, on the channel. I'm curious to get your guys' feedback, you know, from the YouTube channels that you guys follow, what is kind of the best video or upload schedule that, that you guys like? Do you like one per week, two per week, three per week, as many as we can put out? Uh, you know, I, I definitely want to make my content fresh and good for you guys. So if you guys have a preference on how many videos that you guys like to see kind of published out there from some of your favorite channels, uh, leave, leave a comment below. I'd, I'd love to kind of get your guys' thoughts on what schedule uh, works best. I've typically now been doing uh, Thursdays um, and occasionally Saturday and Sunday. Those are kind of the best days in terms of YouTube when all of you guys are on uh, YouTube. Uh, so yeah, I just want to post them when you guys can watch them. So um, some things that I'm excited to have roll out. I still have about three or four videos that uh, I have ready to go for you guys. Um, like I mentioned, I've put out three this week. Uh, have some, I have some ones that uh, I want to share with you guys because they're really important to me. Uh, so honestly, like about two weeks ago, I got monetized on YouTube and as corny and as cheesy as this sounds, when I started this last May, I honestly never thought that I would get monetized. For those of you who don't know, you need a thousand subscribers and you need 4,000 watch hours to get monetized on YouTube. And it has to be within a 12 month period. So as long as those videos, even if you have a video that's older, uh, that uh, is still getting views, you actually still can count that towards uh, getting monetized. So after you get that, after you've met those requirements, you apply for it. But one of the coolest, biggest accomplishments of my life is getting monetized on YouTube. And I, I don't even, I, I'm still kind of in shock by it. Um, I'm, it was really cool. And it's something that I know a lot of you guys watch these channels because you guys want to get monetized too. I want to let you guys know that I'm going to share with you how to grow your Instagram. Uh, I'm a firm believer in giving back and I'm a firm believer in sharing success. And um, I, I want to share with you guys how you can grow your Instagram audience to 3,000 followers. And if you follow my recipe, I guarantee you can probably get there in about three months. So I have some tips, I have some tricks, I have some things that I've learned. As you guys know, my background is in marketing. I've ran marketing for a few companies. Uh, social media is something that uh, I feel I understand pretty well. And I'm gonna share with you guys how I got monetized. I'm gonna share with you guys how I use Instagram as a vehicle in order to get monetized on YouTube. So that's something I'm really excited to share with you guys. Uh, I have all my thoughts down. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to get it in a place where it makes sense. I have so much stuff and I get really excited about this that I don't want it to be just like a 40 minute long video. I want to make sure it's impactful, that it's concise, that it's good for you guys. So if you guys are out there trying to build your own channels, if you're thinking, Hey, you know, maybe this is something I'm considering. Um, I'm going to share with you guys how you can build up your Instagram audience and how you can also get more subscribers on YouTube and I'll also share with you guys kind of my thoughts as I went through this past year's journey. Um, like I said, I started last May and I just got monetized like the first, like the first of March, somewhere around there. So I'm going to share with you guys thoughts on how many videos you should be posting, what your first video should look like, um, and, and walk you through some of those different tips. So I'm really excited to kind of do that this year just to be able to share with you guys just all of the amazing things because I'm a firm believer in trying to give back. So um, just know that's a video that's coming. I'm really excited to share it with you guys. Hopefully that's something that, uh, you know, gets you guys excited um, for out there as you guys are looking at, uh, looking at maybe doing this YouTube journey. Honestly, it's, it's a lot of work, um, uh, you know, but I, I love it. I enjoy it. Uh, right now, my, my current role for work, I'm not doing as much marketing so 
doing YouTube helps me scratch that itch a little bit and uh, makes it really fun for me to be able to do. So I want to get back to you guys and I want to help you out. So uh, thank you guys for all your support on the channel for what you guys do for me. And the least I can do is maybe give you a few tips and tricks to might help you guys grow kind of your audience. So, and yeah, Scott, you're welcome, my friend. Um, thank you for the question. Uh, happy to answer any of the questions that you have. Thanks for everybody that's been jumping in. Uh, really excited for you guys. Um, let's see. Uh, Matt Thumper Farms. Uh, I watched your video on the Hearst pistol grip. It looked amazing. So I ordered one last night. Your video definitely helped me make the decision. Ah, thank you, Matt. You bet, my friend. Um, let me know how it goes. Did you, uh, have you got your Loctite grip yet? Um, have you did, did you do a blue or a red Loctite? Just curious, Matt. Leave me a, leave me a question below. But that's awesome, man, that uh, you got to honestly that pistol grip shifter is so freaking sweet. Like, I love that. It, uh, one word of caution, it gets, if you know, Matt, I don't know where you live, but uh, here in Utah, it gets cold. It does get pretty chilly. So it, sometimes it's a little bit cold, but it just fits in your hand so good. So if you haven't installed it, just make sure that as you're installing it, that you get it in the right position where it's really comfortable. Um, but that was one of my favorite things to install um, on the Challenger. And it brings back kind of that old nostalgia old school feel, right? Just that pistol grip shifter. So Matt, you're gonna have to let me know how it goes, man. Um, if you get stumped or anything, you know, I had, uh, gosh, I don't remember uh, the individual's name, but uh, as you guys know, I put out some stereo videos, how to install subwoofers in your car. Uh, this is the kind of perfect blue. Red is horrible stuff. Agreed. <laughs> Agreed. Blue is the smart choice. Red, it might be permanent there for the rest of your life. So uh, good choice. Uh, good choice on the blue. Um, so yeah. Uh, yeah. So I, this is the, if, if, if any of you are out there doing projects on your cars, uh, especially, you know, I had one of my subscribers that was nervous to install a subwoofer uh, by himself. And I just said, Hey, start messaging me on Instagram. I literally went out to my car. I filmed another video for him and just sent it over Instagram direct message to him. So as you guys are kind of doing projects or kind of working on your own stuff, let me know because I am happy to jump in. I'm happy to help uh, participate. And this individual needed it. I was really worried that he was going to burn down his car upon installing this. It was not the right way to do it. And I was really nervous that uh, this car was going to start on fire because it was not a safe way to install uh, a subwoofer into your car, especially as you're connecting the, the, the power wire, the, the ground wire and just taping it on sometimes doesn't work. So, uh, if you guys are out there working on any of your projects, um, hit me up on Instagram. I'd love to hit you guys up as well. I mean, you know, I don't profess to know everything and how to install everything. So, um, yeah, Matt, looking forward to, uh, you'll have to send me some pictures once you have it, uh, installed in your ride. Matt, just out of curiosity, what, uh, what year is your, I'm assuming you have a challenger. So what year is your, your challenger? Let me know the, the model in here. That would be awesome to, to see on here. Would love to, to follow along on your build. So that's awesome, man. I'm excited for it. So yeah, uh, definitely have some other videos in store for you guys. Um, you know, and, uh, really excited for what this year, uh, holds. Uh, just want to share with you guys some things that I want to try and bring to the channel. Um, Oh, Matt, perfect. 2017 Scat Pack Shaker. Oh, man, you have the shaker. Ooh, that's one option that uh, I wish my car had was the shaker. So that's awesome, Matt. Uh, good for you, man. I, I love the shaker. Uh, that's that's fantastic. Um, have you have you installed the lower Hellcat airbox yet for your, for your ride? I'm curious. Um, love to hear that. But yeah, shaker's awesome. Uh, so yeah, have a lot of awesome videos. Some things that I want to share with you guys upcoming that I'm excited to test out and to try out uh, in terms of what we'll do for videos this year. Uh, I actually want to get a Tesla owner's perspective on driving a big V8. So I'm excited to see what a Tesla owner thinks of these big V8s because, you know, this whole electric movement, this whole going away from combustion engines, all of these manufacturers suggesting that, hey, by certain years, they're going to get out of making, uh, you know, engines, combustible engines and cars and, and all of this, like it doesn't quite sit well with me. I, I love V8s. I don't want them to go anywhere. I hope we can all meet in the middle at some point in time, but I think it'd be really cool to get, I have a buddy. Um, he lives about three miles from here. 
Uh, he has a Tesla, and I don't know all the Tesla models, so forgive me, guys, but I believe his is a Tesla Model 3, but it's the fastest Model 3 you can get. I don't know which version that is, but anyways, so he has that. I'm going to do a video of me driving it, and I want to get his perspective on driving my V8 just to kind of see what he thinks. So that's a video that's coming up. Uh, something else that uh, I've been curious to test out that I'll share with you guys of a video that I'm going to make. As we know, a lot of these cars, if you have the performance pages, you know, with Dodge, you have uh, the ability to uh, time your, you know, your top speed, your quarter mile. I'm actually going to be buying a draggy soon, and I want to test out how accurate are the zero to 60 timers inside of the cars. So I think that'd be something to be really fun to kind of try out and to check out. So I have a lot of things that I think are going to be different, something that you guys are going to see a little bit different this year uh, from me. Uh, in terms of, of content, uh, hopefully you guys have maybe noticed the quality of the videos get a little bit better. Um, I actually have purchased a mic now that blocks out wind noise, that uh, picks up sound really well. It actually picks up the exhaust really, really well. Uh, so kind of my goal for this year is to make a little bit better content in terms of quality, uh, in terms of uh, editing software. Um, you know, I'm going to be kind of playing around with some different editing software this year just to get some different transitions and effects. So uh, I'm excited to try out some new software in terms of editing it. But guys, I, I love doing this. And as long as you guys keep watching, I want to make them better. I want to make them awesome for you guys. And I want to be a YouTuber that is interactive with you guys um, and answers your questions, you know, responds to you guys. I want to be accessible. Um, and I want to make it fun and exciting for you guys because some videos I watch on YouTube, uh, it's pretty tough kind of when you go through some of their videos, you can't hear it because the wind's blocking it out or the camera's bouncing all over. So I'm going to be buying more cameras this year. Right now I'm just using my GoPro Hero 7 and I have an iPhone 11 Pro Max. So I will be adding more cameras to the channel to get more angles. I'm going to be working on kind of almost like a dash cam so you guys can do some drive alongs with me. So when I'm talking while I'm driving in the car, you guys can see where I'm driving and kind of what that looks like. So I just want to make them better. just want to make them, uh, you know, more professional, I want to make them more awesome for you guys. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy them. But uh, yeah, it's it's been a fun journey from where we first started to uh, where we're at now. You know, it's it's funny to now look at my most popular video, which is, you know, three Uconnect features maybe you didn't know about. I literally filmed that on my lunch break. Had no idea I was going to film that. And uh, I really didn't have a script or anything that I specifically wanted to cover. I was just kind of waiting. I was waiting for a call and uh, the meeting was, uh, got pushed out a little bit. So I had a little bit of time to mess with it. But Literally, that was my most popular video and it was one that I wasn't planned for. So if you guys are out there making content, you never know where you are, when you are, that you might be able to film something that might be your best video. So uh, that that's a video that I think we're getting close to 20,000 views on, which is awesome um, and fun. But uh, with that, I'm going to go ahead and take a, a quick break. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, I, I do have a few other things that I want to share with you guys. Uh, but go ahead and uh, leave a comment below. I'm actually going to go grab a drink real quick, but uh, leave some questions. I'll answer anything you guys want me to answer, any questions you have for me, anything that comes to mind. Uh, drop, drop me a comment below, and uh, yeah, I'll be back in like one second. Awesome. GLH S592. I enjoy your videos. Good luck with the channel. Thank you. Uh, you give some of the best comments on the videos. Like your knowledge is awesome. Like I always learn something every time that you comment on one of my videos. So I just want to say thank you because I know you put a lot of time and effort into those comments. And uh, I know you put one on today. I, I need to read through it and uh, comment back, but really appreciate uh, you, I can recognize you, especially from your profile picture uh, there, but just want to say thank you. Uh, you're extremely knowledgeable. Um, if anybody uh, hasn't had a chance to see uh, your comments, uh, go check them out because uh, very detailed around just the Mopar community and even, you know, Ford, other areas. So really appreciate your feedback. So thank you. Just uh, so you guys are curious, I'm not sponsored 
by Mountain Dew, but drinking a Mountain Dew Zero Sugar. Have you guys tried these? Um, I didn't like them at first, but I like them a lot more now. I don't know. I drink way too much soda. There's a there's a crazy fact for you. Um, but yeah, what else do you guys have? Any other questions or comments you guys have for me before I kind of change gears here and jump into some other topics? Matt M, do you have a dash cam for insurance purposes? They can save you a lot, especially in a muscle car. Matt, I don't. Um, if you have any knowledge around, you know, as it pertains to insurance with muscle cars, let me know. I'd be curious to see. Um, <laughs> so Josh Cooper. Uh, <laughs> uh, so Josh is, Josh is my best friend from high school. Uh, how's a posi track work in a Chrysler? Josh, it, it just does, man. Why is a tree good? Why is the sunset good? Uh, <laughs> so that's actually a quote off of Joe Dirt. So we actually, uh, <laughs> Josh and I don't really speak very much to each other, but when we do speak to each other, it's through movie quotes. So uh, it, it just does, Josh. But Matt, getting back to a couple of your comments here, um, I'd be curious to know, hit me up on Instagram. Tell me what you found out. I really just want more of a dash cam or just kind of, you know, something mounted in my windshield, kind of forward facing, just to give you guys a different viewpoint on videos. Uh, one of the things that, you know, I feel like with my videos sometimes that uh, I'm not crazy about is I'm always, sometimes I'll do a, an entire video sitting in the same position or sitting in the same spot. And I just think that kind of gets old. And so for me, I just want to add more dimensions to my videos. So that's the only reason for the dash cam. But Matt, I'd love to hear uh, what you say um, in regards to that. And then thank you. You also wish Mopar, Mopar gave a manual option for chargers. I I think it'd be pretty sweet if they did. Uh, you know, I, if if the chargers came out with a manual, yeah, I, I would be I would be game for that. I'm actually, man, I, I really want, I'd really like a Hellcat Challenger, but with a manual. Uh, you can still find them out there. Uh, there, I believe a lot of them are the non-wide body ones. Feel free and correct me if I'm wrong on that, but uh, I would, I would love that. So you know, with the Chargers, I'll be honest. The Chargers at first, when they rolled them out, I really didn't care so much for the looks of them. But where they're at today, I think the Chargers actually look pretty freaking sweet. And you throw a manual in that Tremec. Now we're talking. Um, I'd be game for that. So it'll be curious to see what Dodge does. You know, there's a lot of uh, rumors, a lot of things floating out there. I know I've shared some opinions on Stellantis. I know I've shared some opinions on what's next for the Dodge brand. Honestly, who knows where things are going, right? Um, I, I do think, you know, even the the CEO of, of Dodge uh, has basically said, hey, the Hellcat motor, the 6.2 motor based on emissions, and honestly, based with the new presidency that's in office, they're going to continue to tighten down on those regulations. And so um, it'll be interesting. I think they're going to have to get more creative. Um, what I really wish they would maybe find a way to do is don't eliminate the combustion engines, find a way to maybe marry the two together and make something just fast, sound awesome. Uh, for me, it's, it's the driving experience, right? Like I don't want my car to drive itself. I want to feel the rumble of the engine. I want to hear the sound of the engine. Uh, I want to be in control of kind of shifting those gears, whether it makes your, car a little bit slower I'm okay with that and I'm fine with that but put a manual on the chargers I would actually you know I think it'd be cool if uh you know maybe Dodge came out maybe let's say let's throw some hypotheticals out here I think it'd be kind of cool maybe if Dodge decided to um slow down on uh you know maybe the Challenger brand I know it's been very successful it's actually outsold Mustang I think um as I looked at the last uh, Q4 numbers it actually outsold start, it's starting to sell out outsell Mustang quite a bit. Um, but uh, I would actually, if they decide to retire that brand, and they've kind of hinted at things along the way, if you really look for it. Um, so yeah, uh, you know, and Matt, thank you, man. You're at work. Appreciate you. Appreciate you hopping on my friend, especially at work. But uh, one thing I think would be really sweet for the charger brand is if they gave a two door charger as an option and a four door charger and maybe make a manual. I think that would be pretty sweet. Um, I, I'm a big fan of the Cudas. Granted, you know, uh, they would have to kind of do that under the Plymouth brand. It wouldn't be a Dodge Cuda. So that, you know, they'd have to kind of figure how all that works out. But Dodge has some cool options that they could do uh, with their cars and what they could do moving forward. But uh, yeah, keep the questions coming, guys. What other questions you guys have or comments? I 
and the fact that any of you have commented, uh, I'm grateful and surprised. So we're gonna do this more often. I actually think this is a lot of fun. I'm nervous to do live. I'm nervous to get out there sometimes. Uh, you know, anytime I edit a video, I sometimes cringe because I hate hearing my voice and doing something like live, I can't edit or fix. Like, <laughs> you know, there's a lot of times where, you know, uh, and you've probably seen me add a little bit more comedy in my last few videos where I'll stumble over my words, I'll forget what I'm going to say, and so I add it in there. Um, so Josh, what do you think of the new Corvette style? So um, I think the new C8 Corvettes are awesome, um, and that's the reason why Chevy, Chevy is crushing everybody right now in terms of sales just because of their, their mid-engine uh, C8 Corvette. And the fact that you can get them for around 50 grand, a little over, now there might be some dealer markups on that, but the mid-engine Corvettes, just because of weight placement, like, and, and here's something, you know, as we kind of geek out over horsepower and cars, is having a mid-engine car is very beneficial because it balances out the weight very, very well. The reason the Dodges, why we lose sometimes, is because we have so much power and so much weight, and it's not quite, you know, dispersed evenly throughout the car. It's the reason why the Challengers, in my opinion, put the battery in the trunk is just to help put a little bit more weight back there uh, to kind of help with that weight transfer. But I actually really like the the outside look of the C8 Corvettes, the mid-engine. Those cars, even though they they have less horsepower than, say, a Mustang, a Scat Pack, um, and I even think they might be about the same as a Camaro. Um, I, I thought they were kind of like 420 or 450. I don't remember off the top of my head in terms of horsepower of where they're at. Someone else knows, let me know. But they're beating a lot of cars because of weight placement. They just hook, they go. I think uh, the ability to see the engine through kind of a window is freaking amazing. I love that. Um, and uh, one YouTuber that I follow, um, RP Productions, he actually, you can actually change the covers of the engine so you can kind of match it to your car. So I think it's really cool. The outside, I think they're awesome. I think Chevy has a winner in it. Now, inside of the car, uh, it would be a little bit claustrophobic for me. Um, me personally, and this is just my preference, you know, the interior of these cars are very driver centric, meaning the dash and all the buttons are faced towards you. If you guys haven't seen a, a kind of a shot of the inside of the Corvettes, I, I would kind of give it a look, but I'm not a big fan of it because especially the person in the passenger seat, good luck changing any of the controls because they literally have like this row that kind of comes down this way. And there's just all these little buttons that you can choose. So I'm not a big fan of how they they did the inside of it. I've actually heard rumors that Chevy with their next version of art has already kind of rethinking how the layout of is it, how the layout is of it. But right now the C8s, that's the hot car to buy. People have waited for a long time to get those in. But uh, what do you guys think of the new Corvette style? Do you guys like them? I'd be curious to know what you guys think. Thank you guys for sticking around. What other questions do you guys have? Anything anything popping up? Anything you guys are curious to know about? Anything from my videos that has maybe caused any questions for you guys or anything I can help answer for you? Cool. Well, I'll, while you guys are kind of thinking of your questions, I'm going to jump into a couple other things that I wanted to chat about. I wanted to kind of talk a little bit about some of the last few videos that I've released um, on the channel. And uh, they're not a Mopar. I have no thought. <laughs> Matt, if they're not a Mopar, I have no thought. Sorry. Well, let's talk Mopar, baby. <laughs> have you guys seen, I don't remember the guy Man, I wish I had his Instagram. Have you guys seen some of the hilarious Mopar Instagram comments where the guy, is his name Brody? I want to say his name's Brody, but he does like hilarious Mopar. He works at a Dodge dealership, I think. I've actually, I follow him on Instagram. I don't remember what his Instagram is, but if you guys haven't seen it, 
he does some hilarious Mopar content where he kind of just talks about, you know, Mopar. And uh, in my last video, I kind of said Mopar, how he does it, Mopar. Uh, but uh, Matt, we can, we talk all day long about Mopar, but uh, you know, uh, some things that I want to share with uh, my last video. So I, I've shared two videos, you know, um, actually three videos this week. Um, I shared uh, why I hate Mopar and hate such a strong word. Um, <laughs> there are things that I don't like about the Mopar brand. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm pretty realistic, right? Like, I don't think anything's perfect. I don't think, you know, I'm very brand loyal, but I also think everybody kind of does things in their own way. And I think that works for everybody. But um, uh, on that video, you know, I think some of you, you know, didn't like the video, but uh, those are just my thoughts on on Dodge and more just suggestions on what I would change if I were Dodge. But, you know, the weight of the cars, the size of the cars, um, you know, they're obviously, you know, over 4,200 pounds. Um, but the thing with Dodge we have to remember is they are a muscle car. They're, they're not a sports car and, uh, they're, they're not as nimble as some of the other cars out there. So, you know, to be fair to Dodge, they've stayed true to the roots and, uh, you know, me, I just wish maybe they, they lighten them up a little bit, maybe found ways to make them a little bit faster. Um, but, uh, really just suggestions. Um, and, uh, a video that, uh, didn't, wasn't as popular. I was actually on the Ford EcoBoost Mustang. Uh, my wife and I, uh, on our anniversary, I just did a little staycation and, uh, decided to drive an EcoBoost. I wish I would have got more driving footage for you guys on there. Um, I'm sorry about that. I'm going to try and do that more often. Uh, I did have, uh, I did have somebody, uh, the dealer in the car with me and he made comments about another YouTuber. Uh, that I'm not going to mention that's popular here in Utah that reviews cars that uh, he wasn't overly excited about. And so I was trying to play my YouTuber card pretty sm pretty small with him. But, uh, you know, those those EcoBoosts, uh, I, I actually really like turbocharged engines. I, I like all engines. Heck, V6, four-cylinder turbo, V8, you're, you're talking my language. And what's really cool, or where I feel limited when it comes to the scat pack because uh, you know I have a lot of you guys out there saying, "Hey, when are you going to modify the scat pack, or what are you going to do to it?" Um, I actually think some of the best platforms for you guys to modify, if you have a Mopar or a Challenger, is actually the RT, the 5.7 liter. Uh, the 6.4 liters, in my opinion, are very optimized from the factory, and you just can't add a tune to stuff. You just can't add a blower to stuff. Like, you know, if, if you haven't watched some of Racer X's videos, you really have to you really have to improve a lot of the parts of the car. Um, it's not just about, hey, throw more power at it, but you have to look at transmission, you have to look at suspension, you have to look at so many other things. And so a lot of people out there have looked into really heavily modifying the scat packs. And if you're gonna do it right, you know, if you're gonna put a, uh, you know, let's just say you, you wanna put a supercharger on there. After you get done with all the parts, the labor and everything, you're looking at about 20 to 30 grand to do it right. and for me, uh, I'd rather just go buy a Hellcat Challenger Red Eye and call it a day. Uh, so, no, I, I don't really have a lot of future plans to modify the Challenger. Um, but I think if you guys are looking at a platform that you guys are looking to modify, uh, the 5.7 liter or even some of the V6, the Pentastar V6, I think is a great way to go. Um, I'd be curious to see what someone out there can do with the all-wheel drive platform that Dodge has with the Challenger. But uh, Matt, thank you for your comment. If it's got a Hemi or a Cummins, you can't go wrong. That's true, baby. Uh, Cummins is amazing, especially, you know, some of the early Cummins diesels. Like those things, I've seen those things have hundreds of thousands of miles. Those things are super sturdy. So, um, yeah, so did kind of the EcoBoost uh, review. Actually, uh, actually really liked it. I actually thought it was pretty cool. The exhaust was really hard to kind of get over. Uh, I did really like the sound of the turbo when you rev it up. I think if you put like blow off valves and things on turbos, they actually sound really cool. Uh, you know, the automatic, the automatic in that EcoBoost felt a little weird. Uh, and what I mean by that is the shift points were never, it was just always shifting. It was never happy in whatever gear you were. So like just kind of cruising and kind of leaving it, it was always wanting to shift. And I think they've tuned that 10 speed better for the five O's. Uh, but with the EcoBoost, the 2.3 liter, it just kind of bounced around quite a bit. Um, I have driven an EcoBoost. So just so you guys know, you have the regular EcoBoost. Those are 310 horsepower. Um, and then 
you actually can get the EcoBoost um, uh, high performance 2.3 liter. And uh, that one has 330 horsepower. So that motor actually borrows the motor from the Ford Focus RS. I don't know if you guys remember that back when Ford had those cars, but um, uh, 330 horsepower. I have driven those. Those cars are actually pretty quick with the 10 speed. Uh, I'd, I'd be nervous if one lined up next to my scat pack at a light, but uh, I think it's kind of fun to kind of drive. Um, I, I didn't really talk about it a whole lot in that video, but I had a chance to drive a manual V6 Camaro and I briefly touched on it. What I will say about the Camaro is the V6 sounds awesome in the Camaro. Like I was actually really surprised of how awesome the V6 sounded. It, it's got a great sound to it and uh, I liked it. Um, I do think, you know, uh, an EcoBoost has the chance to get modified more than the V6 does. And Chevy also has their version of their turbocharged car and it has uh, 275 horsepower. So uh, it was kind of fun to kind of compare the two. I will say the Camaro, uh, like everybody mentions, hard to see out of. Uh, I thought I would really like the, the twist knob. So I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but if you guys haven't seen on the Camaros, you can actually adjust your temperature and airspeed by just grabbing the uh, the air control knob and just twist it to the left or to the right, and it'll turn down the temperature, it'll turn up the speed. I thought I would like that, and I actually found that kind of annoying, uh, to be honest. Uh, the screen, everything in the, the Camaro was just like tilted too much towards me. I really didn't like it. I had a hard time seeing out of it. Uh, and I felt forward with their digital gauge cluster, it was just better. But that sound of that V6 was really good. Car actually scooted pretty good. I think their V6 has 330 horsepower right around there. So uh, it was kind of fun to test out some different cars and kind of compare them to uh, my Challenger a little bit. But uh, yeah, uh, so that was that video. Um, and then uh, today I just released um, things I love about Mopar. And just kind of recapping what I talked about in that video, uh, or just or just you guys, the fans of Mopar, like. <laughs> I never knew I had friends. <laughs> um, uh, Mopar out there, you guys will like flash your lights. You'll you'll wave. I'll have people make me roll down my window and say, "Hey, man, your car is awesome. I love it." And uh, that's something that's that's pretty cool. Um, it doesn't matter V6, V8, Hellcat, Scat Pack, RT. Doesn't matter. Um, you guys are, are just awesome. Um, I think Dodge understands their audience very well in that they just want to put really big engines into cars that go fast and smoke the tires. Like I love Dodge's commercial they did around Christmas time. They had a charger that was just screaming through the streets. And I think they had some Christmas music in the background. Um, and it was just, it was just awesome. Um, I, th I think Dodge, does a really good job with their marketing and I can appreciate that coming from a marketing background. Like the industry is going this way and Dodge is, is going this way still. Now I think with Stellantis, that's going to change some, but uh, yeah, uh, you know, it's, it's interesting. So, um, you know, so I talked about that. I talked a little bit about, um, you know, some of the, some of the, the things like, uh, you know, that I love um, in regards to the challenger charger brand, but uh you know, Dodge has done a good job. Uh, they've really done a good job, and I think it shows and sells. Uh, Camaro's definitely struggled. Uh, let's see, Josh uh, Cooper, do you get more Camaros or Mustangs trying to race you, and how often do you lose to them? So, funny thing, I have not lined up against a Camaro or a Mustang yet. Um, surprisingly, I feel like I could race a Tesla here in Utah every other week. Um, uh, I would have lost to a Tesla, um, I was turning left. Uh, I, I remember I was kind of in front of a gas station in Walmart, uh, out where I live and the Tesla was behind me. And so when the light turned green, I waited till I got around the corner. Cause if I would have just stepped on it, I would have broke the tires loose and swung the butt end out. But the second I could comfortably get around the corner, I stepped on it and he was, he was right on my tail and he was trying to pass me. So I got over in the other lane so he couldn't pass me and he tried getting over the other lane. So I got over in the other lane. So, um, I haven't lined up against any Camaros or Mustangs. Um, I have raced, uh, a power stroke, uh, and I have raced, um, a Tesla, but I've done it well, very low speeds. Um, you know, it's interesting. I don't know if you guys follow some, some YouTubers out there, but, uh, 
uh, Rush Shift. I don't know if you guys follow his channel, but uh, I looked up some news on him this weekend because he hasn't been uploading his videos and uh, he's out in California. He actually got two of his cars impounded. Um, he was going in excess of 160 miles an hour and he's facing eight years in prison for illegal street racing. So, uh, you know, I think what you'll see from me moving forward is probably going to the track, doing it in a controlled environment where it's safe, where it's legal and where I don't go to jail. But those might be a few of the races that I've had. Guys, I still got plenty of Mountain Dew in this can, so we're going to keep her going uh, as long as you guys want to. So keep keep the questions coming. <clears throat> so yeah, have a, have a few videos this week uh, while you guys are thinking of some comments. Have a few videos that uh, uh, I'm excited to bring out. Uh, coming up to you guys, uh, or coming out to you guys, I should say. Uh, the next video you guys are going to see, uh, I'm curious to see your guys' feedback on. Um, I'm curious to see your guys' reaction on. So just want you guys to know that uh, how, wherever this channel is at today, it's, it's probably going to look a lot different a year or two or three years from now. Uh, I'm really excited to to build this. I'm really excited to kind of help grow it. And I'm always going to be looking for unique ways to change up content to keep it fresh for you guys. Uh, you know, I am now almost at 80 videos on Dodge Challenger Scat Packs. So I've definitely, I don't consider myself the expert. I think there's people out there that know more than I do for sure. But uh, I've covered a lot of videos on the Challenger Scat Pack. So uh, I just ask for you guys, you know, as we kind of move forward on the channel, keep an open mind. Um, you know, I know with the, the EcoBoost video, I had a few comments on that that, you know, after I did the, I released this morning why I love Mopar and the comment from a couple people is like, good, because your last video wasn't very good on the EcoBoost Mustangs. Like, uh, so, you know, um, you can't win everybody over, but guys, you know, I'm just going to let you know the next video you guys see from me, um, it's going to alter what we do. It's going to alter where we go. And I hope you guys can stick with me. I hope you guys can see where we go. Uh, 909 Scat said, I have a 2018 uh, Challenger Scat Pack and I love it. Only thing I'm considering to modify the exhaust. Any thoughts on total replacement versus mid muffler delete? Uh, I guess it just depends. I guess it just depends on what you're looking for. Um, the cheapest way to do it is the mid muffler delete. Those run you under $200. I've seen people get them done for $100, $150. If you're wanting more like cracks and pops, um, just deleting the mid muffler will help um, for sure. It'll make it louder. There's been some back and forth out there if the mid muffler actually slows the car down a little bit or not. Um, I I don't think it does. I'm not gonna weigh in too much on that, but there has been some, some talk. Um, total replacement, you definitely could do that. Um, I would probably look into to Borla, um, I think for, for exhaust, uh, some YouTubers that you could go out there. Um, I know, uh, racer X and also OC motivator. You could check out their channels. Uh, they, I think they did the new X series for Borla, um, in terms of their exhaust. So you could check it out. Uh, if it were, if it were me, I would probably start with a mid muffler based on costs. And then I would look at a total replacement, uh, just to see, right? Because with the mid muffler, you know, you can see what that accomplishes. I mean, one thing with the mid muffler, you're actually gonna reduce the weight of your car. Um, my guess is, is between deleting those two mid mufflers, you're probably gonna save 40 to 60 pounds, somewhere around there. So it makes it a little bit lighter, uh, but I would probably start there if it were me. Uh, if you don't like it, uh, then do a total replacement. Um, I guess, you know, if you're really looking to get more performance out of it, I, I don't think you're gonna gain a ton by exhaust, you're just going to change the sound. And with some of the new exhausts out there, uh, you can actually, um, I've seen some different YouTubers have some quieter settings. Um, you know, like if you follow Rush Shift, uh, he has a Mustang, but uh, there's actually little plates that you can put in there that allow how much sound can kind of come back. And so that's something you guys could kind of toy around with is uh, doing a little bit of that and, and playing around kind of with the sound some on it. So uh, yeah, that would be my thoughts, um, you know, but uh, do, do what you like. I mean, enjoy it. They're, they're awesome. The 2018 
Challenger Scat Pack is awesome. I love those. Um, and uh, I almost, what year was the one I almost bought before I got my new one? Um, actually, I was looking at a 17, 17 or 18 uh, before I got mine. So great, great model, great year. Uh, hope you're loving it. So thank you for the question. You guys are awesome. Thank you. I appreciate all the support. I'm glad we've had some good, some good questions rolling in. This has been fun. What else you guys got? Awesome. Thank you guys for, for sticking around. It uh, looks like we still have some people in here. So appreciate all the support. Uh, yeah, for, for, you know, this next week, this next video, uh, we have some big ones coming up some really big ones that uh, I think you guys are going to enjoy. Uh, some of you might not, but I think you're going to enjoy them. Uh, so uh, I have one where I go on a road trip uh, with one of my best friends. And so uh, you guys are going to, you guys are probably going to see more of my personality. The more I run this channel, I think I've been uh, uh, haven't really shown kind of my personality a little bit, but hopefully these live streams kind of give you a greater sense of who I am. Uh, Nine hundred nine Scat, thank you, great content, enjoy watching, keep going. Thank you so much, man. Um, really appreciate the support. Um, like I say, guys, I, I don't mean to sound cheesy or corny with you, but uh, this YouTube journey for me, it's it's been a dream come true. It, it really has, like. Um, am I getting rich off of this? No, I'm not. I've been monetized for two weeks. I'll share if you guys want to know how much I make or whatever. I'm happy to share it. Uh, let me just put put it this way to you guys. I'm not making the minimum wage, and I have nowhere near made any money back for how many hours I've put into this. But for me, this is just about growing something bigger than me. This this to me is about having a brand. It's about driving fast cars. It's about talking about cars. The car community. Uh, you know, is just amazing just how we all support each other. And that's why I do it. So as long as you guys keep watching, as long as you guys, uh, you know, keep seeing some of the videos, I don't, I don't even care if someone leaves me a bad comment or gives me a thumbs down on a video. Uh, it just motivates me to, to try and bring out better content, but, uh, I really appreciate it. It's, uh, like I said, I, you know, I got monetized a couple weeks ago. Uh, I'm going to be sharing with you guys, for those of you that are kind of joining late, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I did it, uh, how you can grow your Instagram audience, how you can grow uh, YouTube. And if you guys want to do this, I'm telling you, you guys, you can do it. The bar, it, it's it's not that hard. It's just more, if you can be consistent and persistent, you guys can do it because I have a hard time putting myself out there. I'm not going to lie. Uh, on the weekends, I kind of turn into an introvert because for my job, uh, I have a role where I have to be kind of on all the time, right? And smiling and talking. And so the last thing I want to do at night after work or on the weekends is put myself on a camera, edit videos where I hear myself talking about something and it just makes you cringe a little bit. So you guys can do it. I promise. Uh, you guys can do it. So uh, any other questions uh, before uh, I wrap things up? I have a I have one other thought that I want to share with you guys. Um, so if you have any other questions, uh, put them in here. I'd be happy to answer. If you guys want to keep going, I'm happy to stay on. So uh, I'll, I'll take a little pause here for any questions that uh, roll in. Let's see how many comments we've had. Curious to see how many comments. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 17. That's 17 more than I thought I would get. <laughs> I thought maybe we just have one. <clears throat> Any questions, guys, before I wrap it up? Awesome. So just. Uh, you know, kind of closing uh, where the channel is going. Like I mentioned, I have t-shirt designs ready. I want your guys' feedback on them. I have one that says I don't race robots, one that says I row gears with a little gear shifter on there. And the last one is I need a monthly tire subscription and has some tires on the back of it. So we'll have t-shirts, we'll have hoodies. I'll be sharing with you guys probably the next two weeks, 
a video around that where you guys can purchase it. I'll keep costs as low as I possibly can for you guys. Uh, really something I'm not looking to make hardly anything off of. Uh, so excited for that. Uh, have some really kind of game changing videos coming up. Uh, I'm trying to determine this next video will probably come out on Wednesday or Thursday. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. Um, like I mentioned, I've been releasing them kind of on Thursdays. Um, I feel that's when it does kind of really best uh, for the channel. So uh, yeah, I this past week we've done three videos. I'll probably go back to one or two videos a week. But if I can keep making awesome content for you guys, I'll keep pushing it out. But I would love your guys' feedback on how many videos is good throughout the week. Like I know you guys have a lot of other folks that you guys watch out there. Um, I, I do want your guys' feedback. I genuinely do. I know I've asked for it twice now. But I would love your guys' thoughts on um, how many videos a week is the right amount. Is one not enough? Is is two or three or four? Is that too many? Or is there no limit to it? So I would love your guys' feedback on that because what you guys want, I'm going to give it to you. You know, uh, Just think of me, man. I'm Burger King. You guys tell me how you want your Whopper, and I'm going to make it that way. Uh, so let me know. I, I, I'm happy to keep it going. But guys – hang with me. We have some awesome stuff coming. I have some awesome footage. I have some awesome ideas that I think are going to change the channel um, and make it awesome. But sincerely, thank you guys for all the support. This is my first live stream. This past year has been a lot of firsts for me uh, and trying new things that, uh, you know, I'm just, you know, I, I hope I can look back at this someday and I can stay true to who I am, stay true to you guys. But I want you guys to know I really appreciate just you guys watching these videos and all your support. Um, it's helped me have dreams come true. It helps motivate me to do more and to work harder at this for you guys and to make it better. And, uh, you know, I'd love to do some meetups. Um, you know, maybe we can do some different things out there where, uh, you know, uh, maybe we can get some groups together and meet up. But uh, guys, stick around for this Thursday. Uh, keep an open mind, but uh, have some awesome things coming for the channel. Um, thank you guys for all the support. Uh, and that's going to do it for uh, the live stream today. So hopefully you guys like this. I'm going to try and do these uh, more frequent with you guys. This is my first one. I was actually excited to see how this went. And uh, we're going to do more of these. Uh, I like it. I, I really appreciate the feedback and comments, guys. So guys, have a great rest of your Sunday. Have a great week this next week. Uh, be safe with your families, your loved ones, your friends. Uh, and uh, we will keep it coming. So thank you so much, guys. Uh, 909 Scat, thank you for that last comment. Definitely keep the positive attitude and content coming. You present as someone that is genuine, what, and that's what people want to see. Thank you, man. Uh, really appreciate it. Uh, we're going to keep it genuine. We're going to keep it fun, uh, but uh, I'll never be uh, above responding or just being personal to you guys. So thank you, guys. This has been a dream come true for me. Uh, I want you guys to know that this isn't the end. Maybe take your shirt off every now and then. Yeah, nice try, Josh. Uh, I want to keep people. I don't want to scare people away. I'm not taking my shirt off. Um, but, uh, you know, guys, um, I'm going to do this for the long haul. Uh, this isn't something that I'm just going to kind of quit at. So the more comment, the more feedback, the more we're going to keep this thing going. But I want you guys to know that I have no plans of slowing this channel down. And I will leave you with that. I have no plans of slowing this channel down. I've said it three times now. Well, I mean, I don't under Zuza Menzuken. I don't know what uh, that means, but uh, maybe I'll uh, translate that and I'll respond to you. So thank you for, uh, wherever you are for for messaging that. Um, I'll I'll uh, try and translate that and send it back to you. Um, but you guys might have doubts coming up, like, hey, am I stop? Like, I want you guys to know from me that I am going to be making more content, more videos, and I have no plans to slow down what this channel does and where it's going. Uh, I'm very optimistic of where things are going to go from here. Um, some of these changes might be tough for you guys. They might be you know, a little interesting. They might be different. Um, some of you might handle them well. Some of you, you won't. Um, and that's okay. That's, that's all right. But um, you know, I'm going to stay true to what I know. And uh, I will leave you guys with one of my favorite quotes. And it's actually from Steve Jobs. And it says, don't let the opinions of others drown out your own inner voice. So 
I listen to your guys' feedback. I try and implement as much as I can. But at the end of the day, I'm going to stay true to what I want to do and what I'm excited to do. And I just want you guys to stay with me um, because it's just going to get faster. It's going to get more frequent. It's going to get better. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for this first live stream. Uh, you guys actually jumped on. You guys actually commented. So in my opinion, uh, it's it's been very successful. If you guys want to do a couple of these a week, leave a comment below. I'm game. Um, tell me how often you guys like live streams. Do you like live streams at all with the YouTubers that you guys do? So like I said, I'll do as many as you guys like. But thank you guys so much for all of your support. Have an awesome Sunday. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one.